Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw this time is going to be on Haunted Mansion. Now, Haunted Mansion is the second attempt at adapting a very popular uh, theme park ride from Disney World. Uh, I don't know what the ride is like because I've never been to Disney World, but they made quite a bit of, of course, they've made uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, you know, that was a ride, but that was a movie, and uh, the first one is by far the best out of the you know, theme park adaptation Disney films, but in this film we follow a man named Ben who is headed over to this haunted mansion where he meets up with uh, a woman and her son and from there him and uh, a priest and a professor played by Danny DeVito come and study what is going on in the house. Of course they interact with a bunch of ghosts and from there we got ourselves a PG-13 rated kid-friendly horror film. Now the first time they attempted to bring the Haunted Mansion to the big screen was back in 2003 with the Eddie Murphy film, which I never really liked. I think it's one of Eddie Murphy's worst films and I did rewatch it last night to see if my opinion would change and it didn't. I was pretty silent throughout almost the entire thing. I do think that this adaptation is better than that, as I did find a bit of enjoyment out of this one. Uh, it's certainly not great or anything like that, but I do find this film somewhat bearable. It's kind of weird that this film is coming out in the summer and not like Halloween, because I feel like it would kind of make a bit more money, but uh, from what I've seen through this film, it's definitely a film that is more for the kid-friendly audience, even though it's PG-13. Technically more of the teen audience, as um, one of my biggest problems with the 2003 film is that I didn't really find the humor all that funny. Despite being a fan of Eddie Murphy, uh, I just found the jokes to be very weak. And some of them in this film, I do find some of the jokes in here to be a bit chuckle-worthy. Um, the show stealers for me throughout this entire thing is Owen Wilson as the priest and Danny DeVito, as that's where most of the comedy comes in. And unlike the 2003 film that focused on a family, it focuses on this one man who was married but lost his wife, and he's not the nicest person in the movie, but he definitely struggles a bit, suffering through the loss of his wife, while this, uh, this young boy is suffering through the loss of his father. So yeah, they kind of do relate to each other quite a bit in this film, as they do have some chemistry in the movie. And uh, the movie is two hours long, and I do feel like it is a bit unnecessary to make it that long. I will say, the 2003 film was only an hour and 29 minutes, so at, at least that movie wasn't overly long. And I'm not saying that overly long films is a bad thing. I just feel like, you know, a movie can be as long as it needs to be, but... This movie, I feel like, had some stuff that was a bit unnecessary, as I do feel like some scenes do drag on a bit. Like, the beginning was pretty slow. In fact, that's one thing I'll say about the 2003 film, is I liked the opening, and that was pretty much it. But yeah, I'm comparing this too much to the 2003 film. I'm just gonna judge it as, as its own thing. As a horror comedy film, like, it's not necessarily a horror film. Like, it's on more of the sides of Goosebumps, how that is isn't necessarily a horror film but it's certainly not the type of film that kids are going to like you know watch and be just completely fine watching it because it can definitely be creepy at some parts it's definitely got some horrific imagery and some that kids are definitely going to find frightening they have some creative uses of jump scares here and there and i thought they were pretty effective and there are quite a bit of ghosts in the film and i thought they were pretty entertaining, and there's a lot more ghosts in here than in the 2003 film, so that's that's good to see. And like I said before, it's good that the movie does focus on a bit of characters that are going through quite a bit in the film, so it does try to make the characters somewhat relatable. And I do like some of the performances in the film, and they're not Oscar-worthy by any means, and the CGI in the film definitely is far from perfect, but I do feel like they did try a bit in terms of the CGI, so yeah. Critics have definitely been kind of mixed on the film. Some definitely have been hating it more than liking it, but as for me, for what it was, I thought it was a good enough time. In the end, Haunted Mansion certainly does have its problems, but I, for the most part, thought it was a fun enough ride. It might not be, like, super exciting in terms of story, but it's certainly a fun enough ride if kids want to go expecting like a creepy, you know, jump scare fest. 
full of somewhat bearable jokes and a decent amount of scares here and there. So needless to say, it might not be a ride that is going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if you weren't a fan of the 2003 film, you might enjoy this film a bit more. But the 2003 film definitely has its fans, so I'm not sure if they're going to think this is better or worse. It's all going to depend because, you know, Eddie Murphy is quite a bit of a show stealer, but for this film, I think it was an improvement, just in my point of view. Like, some people might have nostalgia for that film. As for me, who who has never really been a fan of that original film, I can say that this is a film that I bared a bit more, but, you know, that's just what I think. It's gonna split some people, but for me, I enjoyed most of my time with the film. Now I am going to go back in the theater as I am about to see Talk To Me. I'm really looking forward to that film. So yeah, two films in the horror genre coming out in July on the same weekend. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like, screw Christmas in July. It's Halloween in July. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Word out.